Do you want to become an English teacher? Do you love traveling and meeting new friends in another country? Or having fun while gaining work experience? On this edition of Time Out, I will show you one way to do so that will save you a lot of money and give you many good experiences. So first, let's visit a summer camp. Gateway is an international school located in the city of Hanoi, which teaches children from 1st to 7th grade. This is where we will meet today's main characters, the volunteer teachers. English summer camps are the choice of many parents in Vietnam. Basically, it is a summer camp for students where all interactions are in English. Brianna is in charge of the class today. She is training to be a teacher in the U.S. and has volunteered to teach English in Vietnam. Hello. Hi. Can you tell me more what you're doing here? Yes, um, there's me and three other interns from mm -hmm. America, one from Canada. And we've been in Vietnam for almost two months and we've been traveling out th throughout Vietnam teaching English at different English camps. English summer camps are becoming popular as they offer games and other fun activities to help children have a good time while improving their English. Like every intern has a different like, way she does things, um, but like in my class we do like a lot of hands-on activities because you know little like, kids don't like to sit down and, and stay still. So we have uh, we work on like reading and writing and speaking. So we have uh, parts in the class where we're talking and then other parts where we're writing out sentences to work like all aspects of English. In summer, many native teachers go on holiday, so the volunteers are a great help to the remaining teachers in organizing the summer camps. Volunteer teachers can take charge of lessons, practice their teaching skills, and get to know the local teachers and students during field trips. Every year we have at least one summer camp. This year we had several. And the volunteers take really a great integral part in the summer camp. Still get to play and learn at school, even though most of our teachers are still in holiday. There are many organizations that can help you become a volunteer teacher. A simple Google search can get you dozens of results. The general requirements are, first, you have to be a native English speaker. Second, you need to have an English teaching certificate. For volunteering, you will be provided with an amount of money to cover food, travel costs and lodging. In return, volunteer teachers have to help teachers with their classes. It can be hard work, but it's a good way to gain real life experience for future jobs. My team went with Teach Beyond and they made it really simple, like you fill out an application and they review your application and then they kind of walk you through the process for fundraising and things like that. Um, and they have so many opportunities. Teaching English or teaching overseas is something like you really want to do. They have long-term trips where you're over in a different country for a year or two years. In a summer camp, students spend the morning in the classrooms. After a break at noon, they spend the afternoon playing group games with the teachers. Activities both inside and outside the classroom are combined to help the children learn teamwork and also create a bond between them and the teachers. For the volunteers, the trip to Vietnam is a memorable one and has taught them many things. I think it's amazing and it's totally added to my teaching experience. I'm a teacher in Canada, but teaching overseas has helped me grow and learning about culture differences and language differences. I love Vietnam, so I would be happy to come back here, and it's just really exciting to be with the people here, and it's just a really good experience. I mean, I learned a lot like, from the people here, because, you know, like, 
people here in Vietnam are so friendly and like everyone's a friend here so I thought that was really cool and like I think I'm gonna keep that in my heart forever when I go back you know like just be nice and be friendly to everyone so if you're into teaching as a profession and want to travel to new places learn more about people and their cultures volunteering as a teacher is not a bad option at all see you on the next time out